Hello, my name is Stefan van Wonzo. I am the author of this book, Oil Traders Words, the book with about 2,500 uh, oil trading terms, which are used in the daily discussion by the traders, the operators, refiners, basically the whole commercial side of the business. Uh, it's daily talk, it's a lot of jargon we talk, um, and I have tried to explain them in uh, this book, including some trading phrases and uh, calculation tables. Nice book to have on your desk when you work in the, in the oil business. Um, available at uh, Amazon, or you can Google it and then you find it there. Then you can also find my website, uh, which can give you a discount, but I'll talk later about that. Um, one of the words I have described in the book is uh, bunkers fuel. Uh, bunkers. I mean, uh, vessels uh, need bunkers to sail from A to B. And uh, in different areas, there is also there are different requirements uh, concerning uh, sulfur uh, related to environmental requirements and laws. Um, in uh, Europe we have this SECA area, and SECA is also described in my book, and it's an area where we are uh, only allowed to minimize the sulfur uh, exhaust. Uh, so the sulfur limitation in that area is about uh, two and a half, uh, no, sorry, it's 0.1 percent sulfur. So the oil which is consumed by the vessels must have 0.1% sulfur to reach the maximum exhaust of sulfur. But there is also vessels that can have scrubbers on board and uh, using scrubbers is then you're filtering out a lot of the, uh, the exhaust and by that we are, uh, the, those vessels are able to have clean, cleaner exhaust. So bunker fuel, so normal, normally we use uh, fuel oil bunkers uh, to uh, supply the bunkers. Uh, that is happening, for example, in Singapore. Uh, there is 3.5% of sulfur allowed there. Uh, planning is that it will go down to, uh, to 1.5%, maybe 1% uh, in a couple of years from now. But uh, that is still the case uh, in uh, Singapore and for sure in many other areas. But in Europe, uh, the 0.1% is the maximum. And basically to get to 0.1% sulfur fuel oil, it doesn't exist really. So they had to go over to another quality, which is the diesel. So they use the middle decilates uh, as bunker fuel. And that, of course, uh, results in higher prices for sailing from A to B, because fuel oil is much, much cheaper uh, than uh, diesel. And then we talk about maybe $200, $300 per ton, $300 maximum maybe, uh, which, is, uh, which has a lot of effect on the uh, shipping market and the prices. But this is the environment which is important to all and it's part of all the cost uh, in the business and at the end of the day of course it's always the consumer uh, paying for it because every cost of transport is always calculated uh, to the final consumer and that is you and me so this is a bit uh, there, there's much more about bunker fuel and about the bunker qualities and the various uh, naming of the qualities in the book uh, so please have a look go to amazon.com go to google and find the book. And as promised, uh, there was a discount on my website. If you go to the website oiltraderswords.printtrail.com and then you can type a code which is oilyt, um, then you get 5% discount uh, if you buy the book over there. But it's up to you to decide if you want the book. Um, just uh, Google it, uh, find it. Uh, I hope I made you curious. So. Uh, up to you it's uh, your call and there is a lot of uh, information not only about bunkers but also about uh, the trading refining qualities uh, technical trading etc etc so up to you i wish you a very nice day and good luck with your decision thank you bye